Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the create database command. So we have another language that is that is called the data definition language, which is a subset of the SQL standard for creating databases and tables. Most of tools have uh, most of the tools they have a, like a visual kind of approach to creating DBs. But it is always uh, a good idea to know the code the code part of it as well. Now, ironically enough, this create database command is not part of the SQL standard. However, this command is almost supported by all implementation of the SQL, uh, the SQL standard. So we use this command to create a container inside which we have tables, columns, rows to create a logical representation of data. Once we have a database, there are two ways to execute a query inside a database. To write, the first way is the way that we have been using so far, and that is using the use keyword. Uh, to scope future queries. So any subsequent queries will be implemented in the context of this database, which in this case is HelaliDB. The other way or the other approach is to fully qualify the table name to the database. This is generally considered a best practice. And actually in some databases, this fully qualification of table names has shown to increase the speed of the performance of the queries. So what we are going to do is, um, we're going to go over both of the approaches here and we're going to use the create database uh, query to create a database. So I'm just going to get rid of this use. So I'm going to write here uh, create database. So this is the command. Then we are going to pass in the name of the database. And the name of the database in this case, I'm just going to say SQL course. And I'm going to terminate it with a semicolon and when I run this, you can see that it says one row affected, create database. So we have created our database. I'm going to collapse this. I'm going to refresh. You can see there we go. Here is our SQL database, which we have just created. There are no tables, but this is our database. So I'm going to comment this one out just to make sure it doesn't run again. So I'm going to say comment out. Now, now that we have created our database, okay, so why, what is this error that we have here? Okay, let me just provide a space there. There we go. Now, we're going to go over the first approach to execute queries. So I'm going to say approach, approach, is it correct? Yeah, approach one. Um, I'm going to say uh, to approach one, which is using using the, uh, let me just provide it inside quotes, use, using the use keyword, keyword. So now you want to use that database to scope any future queries that you might write in here. So you want to basically select the database. How can you do that? We can basically say use SQL underscore course and uh, now if I run this you can see that now the SQL course is highlighted so this is our first approach I'm going to comment this one out I'm going to reselect HelaliDB because I need to show you the other approach which is actually considered like a uh, a better practice than this one you could use them both but the other one is a little bit faster so Approach two is going to be like the uh, table qual the fully uh, table qualification table name qualification to the database. Now we don't have any table names, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to say select all columns from let's say SQL underscore course. Uh, I could use I could create a table here, but that command is something that I want to show you throughout this chapter. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use anything. So I'm gonna say lessons. Let's say we have a lessons table and we alias it as L. So if you run this, you can see that table this table does not exist. But if this table were to exist, this is how you can. Uh, qualify table names to the database. You basically provide the database name in front of any table that you want to use. 
That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.